Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class. So, you all look very excited all ready for the class today. Well, I hope that these classes are helping you to speak Japanese in a better way. You feel more confident and you feel happy about doing the classes. So, well, we will do something new of course as we always do. We will also learn some kanji characters and vocabulary, some grammar, but before that as we always do, we will do our assignments, go over the assignments and let us see what we have here in the beginning. The first one is kanji, the kanjis are here, equivalents are written in Roman. So, the first one is kazan which is a volcano, danse is boy or a man, mon is a gate and you can see from the character itself it appears like a gate as well. Then shumatsu which is weekend, haru, spring, densha, nisen en and it is not yen, it is en, shigatsu and gaikoku go. Go of course, you see written all the time on the kokuban on the blackboard over here. So, this is go for any language, gaikoku is a foreign language. So, this is your kanji, keep looking at these characters as we are doing Japanese in a non uh, Japanese environment. So, it is better to see them again and again, the visual is strong, it stays with you and you feel more comfortable. Now, write the opposites for the kanji characters. Well, the first one is soto which is the opposite for naka. Then we have ue and shita, hairu and deru. Then oki, chisai, shiroi, kuroi and otoko. Onna. Well, the third one is choose the correct kanji characters from the brackets. So, all the correct answers are in blue. You can see over here. So, let us see the next one. Join the sentences and make one meaningful sentence. Well, there were some words for you and you were to join and use yori which was given and make one proper sentence. Yori is more than Tokyo wa kanpur yori oki this. A wa b yori. A is more than. So, yori is more than. Then Rao san yori Arun san no Nihongo ga Jozu des. Jozu will take particle ga. Then we have watashi wa mikan ga suki desu. Also with suki always ga is used. Indo wa nihon yori atsui desu. Or you could also say indo no hou ga nihon yori atsui desu. As no hou ga is given, indo no hou ga where you show that one is bigger or greater than the other one. Your preference for A or B, whatever comes first before Hoga. Then, Kono mondai wa ano mondai yori muzukashi desu, yori. Then we have Jimushitsu ni nidai kopi no kikai no hou ga i desu. It is better that there are two machines in the office. Hasami de 
kiru hou ga kantan desu. It is easier to cut with hasami. Rao san wa indori yori ga daisuki desu. Dai is oki. Another reading for oki is dai. So, daisuki is very very much. Rao san indori yori daisuki. This was yori and no hou ga. Now, we have some expressions which are very important and we have the first one here. Kaisha de minna mada hataraite imasu. Kairu mai ni Tanaka san wa nan to imasu ka? So, the answer is osaki ni shitsure shimasu. Well, I am going before you. So, please excuse me. O is honorific and saki is before or ahead of you earlier than you. So, please excuse me. Hito ga byoki desu. Anata wa byouin e ikimasu. Sono hito ni aimasu. Soshite uchi e kairu mai ni nani o imasu ka? Well, before you leave someone who is sick, what do you say? You say o daiji ni. Ki o tsukete kudasai o daiji ni. Then tomodachi no uchi ni Hairu toki, ojama shimasu. Ojama shimasu is I am intruding on your privacy, so please excuse me. Ojama shimasu. Tomodachi no uchi kara deru toki. After you have spent some time with your friend, you want to leave, then what do you say? Ojama shimashita. Then we have omiyage o moratta toki. Omiyage is Presento o moratta toki arigato gozai mashita or mas. Both can be used. Dare ka to wakareru toki. Wakareru actually means to separate. Over here, when you part from someone, then what do you say? Ki o tsukete kudasai. Hajimete hito ni atta toki. That is your introduction. Hajime mashite dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Then, hito ga uchi ni kita toki, irashai mase, dozo, o hairi kudasai. Please come in. Hito ga mise ni hairu toki, irashai mase, just irashai mase and not dozo o hairi kudasai. This is only for your house. Then, ashi o funda toki, when you step on someone's feet or you by, by mistake, you hit someone or you bang into someone or you do something wrong, sono toki sumimasen, gomena sai. Now, if you remember, we did hoga i desu in our last class. I mentioned hoga or no hoga i desu to you. We did some practice, we did practice it a little, but not much. Now, you are familiar with this no hoga. You can differentiate between yori and hoga. So, well, we will do it in past tense. As you can see over here, verb in plain past form plus hoga is quite similar to had better or is better that in English. And the negative is verb nai hoga i desu. Now, this does not make much sense. It will start making sense when you read this. Nodo ga itai desu. Kusuri nonda hoga i desu. So, nodo ga itai desu. One answer is kusuri o nonde kudasai. Please have medicine. Please take your medicine. The second answer could be it is better that you have medicine now. So, kusuri o kusuri o nonda hoga i desu. Verb in past form over here. Nonda hoga i desu. Or you could also say onaka ga itai desu. You could say 
頭が痛いです。お腹が痛いです。Well, 薬を飲んだ方がいいです。My throat is paining. It would be better if I take some medicine or someone else could also be telling you if you could take some medicine. 雨が降っていますから行かない方がいいです。When you should not do something or it is better that you do not do that. That time negative verb plain past form plus ho ga e des. In our exercise earlier something was underlined. That is exactly what is given here. You can see kikai no ho ga e des. Kiru ho ga e des. Yasui ho ga e des. So, what is it? Noun no ho ga. E this. So, when you are using ho ga e this, then with noun it is no ho ga e this. Hon, hon no ho ga e this. If I show you two toke, two watches, well, do chira no ho ga e this ka? Kore. No ho ga e des. So, with noun it is no ho ga e des. Now, you will see over here something else is given. There is a verb in plain form kiru ho ga kantan des. When it is verb plain form, then ho ga e des. Hocho de, hocho is a knife. Hocho de, kiru ho ga, ho ga i desu. Pen de, kaku ho ga i desu. Enpitsu de, kaku ho ga i desu. So, with verbs, it is ho ga, with nouns, it is no ho ga. Then you have something else also over here. Yasui ho ga ii It is better if it is cheap. So, with adjectives also, it is not no ho ga, it is ho ga ii desu. Yasui ho ga ii desu. Yasui Yori takai ho ga i desu. This is an adjective. Now, yasui hon yori takai hon no ho ga i desu. So, now you will see that with adjective it is ho ga, with noun it is no ho ga i this. This is very very clear over here. You can practice like this and get used to no ho ga and ho ga. Now, there is a small conversation. Nani wo shite imasu ka? Ashita shike naru kara benkyo shite imasu. So ne, benkyo shita hou ga ii desu. It's better that you study now as you have an exam tomorrow. So well, you can practice this small conversation with hapyo, shiai, which is a match, okyak san, which is guest. You will also notice that when you are talking, you can just omit the particles and the subject and just talk freely as is given over here. Ashita shiken ga aru kara benkyo shite imasu. And so ga is missing because it is conversation. Now, nani wo shite imasu ka? Ashita hapyo aru kara benkyo shite imasu. Or renshu shite imasu. So ne, renshu shita hou ga ii desu. Or 
勉強した方がいいです。なお、何をしていますか明日試合あるから、試合がありますから、or あるから、練習しています。I'm practicing because I have a match. そうね、練習した方がいいです。So you can, you can practice like this. 今何をしていますか掃除をしています。そうね。お客さんが来るから掃除した方がいいです。So you can practice like this with your partner. Simply ask and answer and it will help you in conversation. Now, ない方がいいです。何をしていますか映画を見ています。I'm watching a film. 試験あるから映画を見ない方がいいです。It's better that you do not watch a film as you have in Exam. 何をしていますか遊んでいます。So again, 試験あるから遊ばない方がいいです。So you can see very clearly how it is going to be used. You can practice like this in a similar manner. 何をしていますか小説を読んでいます。試験あるから小説を読まない方がいいです。読まない。Now, we had also done どちら last time. Noun 1と Noun 2とどちらがいいですかどちらが大きいですかどちらが安いですか So, well, Noun 1と Noun 2とどちらが安い、高い、白い、adjective、this and、か over here. So, what does どちら show? This is a pattern, noun 1と noun 2とどちらが whatever the adjective. What does this show or mean? Well, which one of the two? Is yasui. Which one of the two is takai? Which one of the two is more shiroi? Your choice or preference can be clearly seen with dochira. As you can see over here, comparison between two or more things. Now, you will say that two or more things means n number of things you can just say noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 to, and it goes on. No, that is not possible. You can only compare two, maybe three things, not beyond that. So, that is very important with dochira. As you can see, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 to dochira ga, whatever the adjective you want to use over there. Now, you can also ask in another way. Here we are using dochira. Now, if you have a group, you have different things over here. So, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3, no naka de, within this set, no naka de, nani ga, suki, ですか or どちら which one どちらが好きですかどちらが安いですかどちらが高いですか as is given over here noun 1と noun 2と noun 3の中でどれがどちらが何が好きですか何が嫌いですか何が面白いですか so, you can again tell your choice in this manner. Also, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no, naka de, dochi raga ichiban, whatever the adjective. です。
So, you can also ask like this Ichiban, Ichiban over here does not mean the first, Ichiban means most over here. So, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no naka de, dochira ga Ichiban, most suki desu ka, most kirai desu ka, most omoshiroi desu ka, ega 1 to, ega 2 to, ega 3 no naka de, dochira ga Ichiban, omoshiroi desu ka. You can ask like this, ega 2 no hou ga omoshiroi desu. I prefer ega 2 over all the others. So, you can ask, ringo to mikan to dochira ga takai desu ka? Ringo to mikan no naka de dore ga ichiban takai desu ka? Dochira ga ichiban takai desu ka? Which one is the most expensive amongst the Rao san to Arun san to dochira ga wakai desu ka, who is younger. So, you can practice like this using these comparisons over here, dochira no naka de ichiban no hoga, any of these you can use the ones we have done in class and you can practice. Now, momo to suika to, momo is peach, suika is watermelon to dochira ga takai desu ka. Simple set I have given you over here, you can compare now, momo ga takai desu, one answer. Second answer is, momo no hou ga takai desu. Third answer is, momo wa suika yori takai desu, momo is more expensive than suika and momo no hou ga ringo yori takai desu. So, well all of them are given over here, we have done the explanations, you just have to practice A ga takai, A no hou ga takai, A wa B yori takai, A no hou ga B yori takai. So, well your preference is very clear over here, A no hou ga takai desu. So, now you can practice dochira, there are two books over here, one is new, one is old. So, this is Tanaka san over here, kono hon to sono hon to, kono hon to sono hon to dochira ga furui desu ka and it is very clear kono hon no hou ga furui desu. You can answer like this and also one thing I want to tell you over here with furui is that it means old of course, but furui is used with things something is furui and a person is not furui. Person is old, yes, but person is not furui as over here, this is meant for non-living things. Hito ga toshi o totte imasu or toshi no kata desu or nenpai no kata desu is used for people. Then you have two kabans over here, what is it now, what is Tanaka san saying again? Kono kaban to sono kaban to dochira ga omoi desu ka, omoi is very very heavy. Kono kaban no hou ga omoi desu, when I compare the two then kono kaban no hou ga omoi desu. So, very clearly comparison is shown and with no hou ga above this. So, this one is more than or above this kaban, heavier than this kaban. Now, shinbun to shousetsu to dochira ga omoshiroi desu ka? So, well over here you have shinbun and you have shousetsu dochira ga omoshiroi. Shinbun no hou ga omoshiroi or if you prefer shousetsu, shousetsu no hou ga omoshiroi. And then we have this picture over here, two people standing, Tanaka san and this is also Tanaka san, well A san to B san to dochira ga sei ga takai desu ka, sei is height and Tanaka san no sei ga takai desu, you can put like this. So, you can practice your uh, comparisons with your partner and get used to no hou ga, yori, dochira, no naka de, ichiban, any of these and feel comfortable with Japanese. 
Now we have, I am going to buy shoes, kutsu wo kai ni ikimasu. You have not done this form, we will do this form today. It is very simple, easy to use and is used a lot in daily conversation. So, well, listen to this radio dialogue and then we will do the explanations over here. Tanaka san, chotto o negai ga arimasu. Nan desu ka? Jitsu wa rai getsu Amerika kara tomodachi ga kimasu. Watashi wa nihon no mono o miyage ni shitai desu. Demo, kaitai mono o kimemashita ka? Chotto kimete nai desu ga. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Sumimasen, o negai shimasu. So well, how much did you understand? There is just one new thing in this dialogue and I am sure most of it is understood. Well, I will read it once. Rao san to Tanaka san no kaiwa de ikkai watashi wa yomimasu kara yoku kiite kudasai ne mina san. Hai, Tanaka san chotto onigai ga arimasu. Nan desu ka? Jitsu wa rai getsu Amerika kara tomodachi ga kimasu. Watashi wa nihon no mono o omiyage ni shitai desu. Demo, kaitai mono o kimemashi ta ka? Chotto kimete nai n desu ga. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Sumimasen, onegai shimasu. So, well, a simple dialogue, only kai ni is new over here. Onegai ga arimasu is, I have a request to make or I want a favor from you. Jitsu wa we have done, which means actually then watashi wa nihon no mono o omiyage ni shitai desu. I want to give a Japanese present to my friend demo, but and you leave the conversation, you leave the sentence incomplete because it is very clearly understood that you want to ask him to go with you shopping. Kaitai mono o kimemashita ka? Chotto kimete nai n desu ga. I haven't decided as yet. You could also say directly mada desu. A direct answer mada desu. And chotto kimete nai n desu ga and again you leave it incomplete which is very very typical of the Japanese language. You say something and just let it go like this. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Shall I come with you shopping? Sumimasen, onegai shimasu. These two I will explain a little later. Kai ni is what we will do now and this is your script. You can go over the script, read it out at least once when you are at home and see how much you can recognize. This is translation in English. Somewhere you will find that it is not as it should be. This is what you would say in English. Now, we are going to practice verb plus ni. Iki mas yomi mas tabe mas. Mi mas, ai mas. Group one and group two both. So well, what you need to do is just remove the mas from here and put ni. Ai ni ikimas. Yomi ni ikimas. Tabe ni ikimas. Mi ni ikimas. So for the purpose of performing this activity. I will go somewhere. Now you will see that the verbs are there, the forms are there. For example, over here, the forms are all there, the verbs are there, but all the time you cannot use or make forms for all the verbs. Sometimes it is not possible as you just saw with ikimas. Iki ni ikimas is not used. Tabe ni ikimasu for the purpose of performing a certain activity, I am going somewhere. As you can see over here, Central Market e nani o shini ikimashita ka? A question. 
Central market A. Nani o shini. For what purpose did you go over there? Nani is what? Shini is to do. Kasa o kai ni iki mashita. Kai ni for the purpose of buying a kasa. Kasa o kai ni central market e iki mashita. So now, doshite shokudo e ikimashita ka? Tabe ni ikimashita. Doshite gakko e ikimashita ka? Sensei ni ai ni ikimashita. Now you can practice this over here. You have all these options given. Doshite gakko e ikimashita ka? Sensei ni ai ni ikimashita. Doshite depato e ikimashita ka? Kaimono o shini ikimashita. Doshite shokudo e ikimashita ka? Obento o kai ni ikimashita. Obento is your tiffin, your lunch box, whatever is there in the lunch. So, obento o kai ni ikimashita. So, you can use these freely and easily. Lot of combinations you can make over here and you can use verb plus ni. So, remove the mass of the verb and put ni instead. Now, a simple conversation. Tanaka san, nani o shite imasu ka? Ima gita o hite imasu. Jozu desu ne. Iie, mada mada desu. In our conversation, we had mada, mada, mada desu. Omiyage o kimemashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Or just mada desu, meaning not yet. But if you have two mada mada like this, then well, it is a little different. Mada mada means I still have to learn a lot. So, over here he is asking nani o shite imasu ka? He is saying I am playing the guitar, hi te imasu. Jozu desu ne, you are very good at it. No, not yet. I still have to learn much more is what it means. Hiku is the verb. Hiku means to pull, to stretch. So, because you pull the strings and the sound comes, thus it is hiku for all stringed instruments. Please remember that. Well, you have these words over here instead of Tanaka san, Oto san nani o shite imasu ka? And let us see what he is doing. Piano o hite imasu or uta o utatte imasu or Nihon ryori o tsukutte imasu. Jozu desu ne? Iie, mada mada desu. So, you can practice like this. Now, we did Jozu also last time. Very quickly, we will go over Jozu and you can see this lady is singing over here Jozu and he is very happy because she is good at it. So, Mariko san wa uta ga Jozu desu ne. Jozu will take particle ga. Hai, so desu ne. So, you will never say that I am Jozu at something. Please remember, it is always someone else is Jozu at something. And also, when someone says that you are very good at something, you will always try to say, Mada Mada des. I still have to learn more. And you never say that I am very good at this. That is the Japanese people. You can see. Michael san over here. Michael san wa gita ga jozu desu ne. Jozu desu ne or so desu ne. So, you can practice your conversation like this. Now, every time we do expressions, every time we learn something, something new, some new expression that the Japanese use all the time, we try to learn those, some ways of saying different things in Japanese. So, well, we have done something today. Let us see how we are going to use it over here. There is this gentleman here and he is sitting in a coffee shop and he is the 
person attending to him. So, well, what does he say? Omachi do sama. Omachi do sama is a typical, typical expression used when you go to a restaurant and someone comes to take your order. Machi do sama is sorry to have kept you waiting. O is honorific. So, omachi do sama, sorry to have kept you waiting. Nani ni shimasu ka? What will you have? So, well, he is thinking, what shall I have? Nani ni shimashou ka? What shall I have? He is asking him and he says, kohi ga ii desu ka? Kocha ga ii desu ka? What would you like to have? Kohi ga ii desu ka? Kocha ga ii desu ka? And he says, kohi no hou ga ii desu. I prefer coffee over tea. So, this is how you will use no ho ga. You can easily understand that he is saying, I prefer coffee over or above tea, more than tea. So, try to use your expressions like this. Well, two new kanji characters for you today. You know the words already. Well, we will just do the kanjis. Of course, we will do some kanjis separately also. Over here, there is one word, omiyage. Omiyage is a present. This you have already done, which means soil used for doyobi. This is a new character, which means to give birth to. This small character, to be born, you have done. So, this joins with soil and omiyage. It makes it a present. Of course, I will explain later how these two make omiyage. And then we have isogashi, which is busy. So, just get used to the visual of these two kanji characters. Isogashi, I will tell you how it is made and written. Isogashi is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. So, well, this is isogashi and omiyage is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 like this omi yage. You just look at the kanji character once again. What I want to tell you over here is very interesting and that is why I took up this word omiyage today. It is very Japanese. Omiyage like this over here. Now, why? Why omiyage like this? Well, you just look at the kanji character once again. What does this mean? What does this mean? What did I tell you earlier? Well, this means soil and this means to be born, to give birth to. This means to be born and this means to give birth to. So, how does omiyage come over here? Well, omiyage comes from these two characters, these two readings meaning something of the soil, something of the place. So, a present and omiyage is very different. Present could be anything. It could be from anywhere, but omiyage will only be from the place where it is made or is born, meaning of that place, especially of that region. So, of that soil, something belonging to that place is omiyage. As you can see from the character soil and to give birth to over here. So, present and omiyage is a little different. Present is from anywhere. It does not have that feeling. And that is when you say, I want to give something, I want to give an omiyage, meaning you want to give something belonging to that place. Another very, very interesting thing about the Japanese or Japan is that well, you generally do not ask anyone, are you free, which you would do in English. You would 
in fact ask exactly the opposite in Japanese are you busy why because it's it's actually cultural they don't like they take their work very seriously and they would always like to be very busy very serious very focused and it is in fact shameful that you have time at your hands you cannot be sitting idle and just whiling away your time you have to be working you have to be busy with something to be doing something constructive that is also very very Japanese and also something very Japanese over here is sumimasen onegai shimasu that is also interesting because a lot of foreigners laugh at this and say how is it the Japanese say sorry and thank you and sorry and please at the same time sumimasen means sorry and onegai shimasu means please so why is it that the Japanese use this so frequently sumimasen and onegai shimasu well a very simple explanation is sumimasen is sorry for all the trouble that I am giving you and please is a request please or in a similar manner sumimasen and arigato sumimasen is sorry for the trouble and thank you for doing what you are doing for me this is also very very Japanese a lot has to do with the culture sumimasen and onegai shima sorry for all the trouble but please do it for me is what it means now we have completed the first set of the syllables which is 46 for both the uh, scripts now we have the second set which has 25 in each set and the first set is the ga set for both katakana and hiragana here ga gi gu ge go and the similar thing over here ga gi gu ge and go you will remember that this is ka ki ku ke and ko with this small attachment here on top you can change it to the ga series so you can you can see the stroke order note the stroke order try doing it on a graph sheet like this over here you will get it very proportionately on your sheet now we have a kotowaza you can see tanaka san running after two rabbits here can you think of a proverb in english or in hindi well now look at this nito o omono wa itto omo ezu what does that mean well look at this now one who chases after two hares won't catch even one so running after too many things trying to do too many things at the same time does not give you the best of results you gain nothing actually in the long run so one needs to be very focused one needs to be determined in what you are doing and also you have to be very sure what you want so this is what this proverb tells you nito o o mono wa itto omo ezu meaning trying to do too many things at once will make you fail in both so please try to be focused try to be determined in what you are doing know your goals well now you have nito two rabbits o is to chase mono is a person who is doing that activity and ezu is to get to acquire to gain to obtain any of these over here there is vocabulary for you lot of new words you could go over the words and practice them make sentences and practice your conversation now in the end my job is over your job begins you have lot of assignments to do lot of work homework to do at home so well the first assignment that you have is match these kanji characters with what is given over here readings given over here in hiragana then assignments for you use te form write te form over here then look at these pictures and write in hiragana 
then you have match column A with column B. You again have some kanji words here, write the readings of these words and then fill in the blanks with appropriate particles and question words. So, there is lots for you to do, lots of new vocabulary, words, forms, try to do those, make some sentences and practice conversation with your partner. With this, I will end. So, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu. Kondo wa mata atarashi koto o benkyo shimashou. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.